Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D glowing text outline effect in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and this is all done procedurally. That means you can easily change the text without having to do anything. You can also save this effect as a preset which means you can easily drag and drop onto whatever text you have and all the effects will already be applied. So let's see how to make this in After Effects. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and let's see how this effect works as a preset. So I've already saved this as a preset over here and I have this text layer. If I just simply drag and drop, you can see all the effects are already applied. We don't have to do anything. You can just simply animate your text like your regular text as well. Now the best thing is that this is completely procedural. That means if you want to change anything, all you have to do is just type whatever text you have and it will have all the effects and look. This preset will save you a lot of time if you want to create this type of animation and the download link for this preset is available on my patreon page so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so all the links are in the description make sure to check them out now let's see how to create this effect and also how to save this as a preset all right let's begin by creating a new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok now we have a composition let's add our text so select the text tool now just click and type whatever you want i'm going to type motion nations it's completely up to you, you can type whatever you want you can also change the text later on as well because we are going to create it in a procedural way so once you have your text we are going to align it in the center now we only want to see the stroke not the fill so for that you can go under the characters panel if you're not able to see the character panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it under this we are going to just simply click on this icon so that it will disable the fill now in order to increase the stroke all we have to do is just increase this parameter so now you can see we have this text with the outline so there are a bunch of different effects that we are going to apply onto this so first we can select this and let's go under the effects and preset first we are going to apply the four color gradient let's search for gradient and we are going to drag the four color gradient onto this and let's just quickly change their position so it's completely up to you can just place them wherever you want now let's quickly change their color so it's completely up to you can just pick whatever colors you want i'm going to pick these colors so once you're happy with your color we are ready to apply our next effect which is cc radial blur and let's drag it on to this now we are going to change the type to fading zoom and the amount we are going to set this to negative value so that you can see we have this blur effect now the amount it's completely up to i'm going to set this to negative 70 we can change this later on as well now before we proceed there is one more thing that you have to take care of so you can see i am working in 8 bit per channel now if you want to have like little bit more enhanced colors then you can change this to 32 bit otherwise you can use the 8 bit as well so i'm going to use the 32 bit for this example now let's click on ok now it will basically give us more values for color which will make our glow and everything look a lot better once you're done with this we are ready to apply glow let's search for glow and let's drag it onto this so the threshold i'm going to set this to 50 and the glow radius let's set this to 53 or something and the intensity i'm going to set this to 0.5 we are basically going to stack glow on top of each other so we have one glow and let's press ctrl d so we have the second layer and onto this one i'm going to just increase this value we only want to play with the radius now on now let's select this glow and press ctrl d once again and this time we can just increase it quite a bit let's set this to 450 and now we have quite a bit of glow let's select this and press ctrl d once again this is going to be our last copy and I'm going to set this to 1000 so that we have this extreme glow in our scene. So these are some settings that you can completely play around. Let's just close them up. Now you can see the glow is really overpowered so we can lower it down by simply applying a CC composite effect. Let's drag it on to this and under the effect we are going to simply change a couple of things. So instead of original we are going to set this to overlay so that it will blend nicely with the colors now we want the outlines to be like really dark so for that let's add one more copy of it and this time we are going to change this to let's say soft light and we can probably lower down its opacity if you want i think this looks good let's select this press ctrl d once again so that all of these lines are like completely 
opaque so you can see we are getting our look now at last we can also apply one more layer of four color gradient so let's select this press ctrl d and this time we are going to like apply it on top of everything and also let's change the blending mode to add so that we have this very nice sharp glow it's completely up to you can play around with its intensity we can also lower down the intensity by simply lowering its opacity now it's a nice way of adding glow but it's completely up to you wherever you want to add the glow there you go now i think this looks good again if you want you can play around with this color gradient as well and just play around with the colors and their position to give it a nice look i think this looks good and i'm happy with the result there are a couple of things that you can play around so if i go under the cc radial blur and we have this quality if i lower it down to let's say like 10 then you can see we have this very nice fading effect like this now if i increase the quality then all of these will like have a very smooth gradient it's completely up to you if you want to have like this steps or you want to have this complete gradient so now we are done with our look and you can easily animate your text just like you do any other normal text so if i go inside the animation preset we have a bunch of different text presets over here you can easily apply any of these presets so if i just simply drag it if i press play you can see we have applied our animation preset onto this and all the other effects are already working and the best thing is you can easily select this and just type whatever you want and after that you can play around with these parameters and if i press play you can see all the animations are already there now let's see how you can save this as a preset so that you don't have to repeat all of these steps and you can just reuse them later on as well so if you want to save this as a preset all you have to do is just simply select this top effect hold on the shift key then select this one so that all the effects are selected then after that go to animation click on save animation preset then it will open up this window just type whatever name you want i have already saved this over here glow outline 3d text but you can type whatever name you want and after that you have to save it inside your user presets directory now for me the link or the path is this c user my username and then document adobe after effects then under this we have this user preset folder and i have saved it over here if you're using mac then you can search online where you have to save this preset once you're done with this just simply click on save now after you have saved your preset you can access it by simply going to your effects and preset panel just click on this three hamburger icon then make sure that the refresh list option is checked and now if i just simply select all of them let's delete them here you can see we have our simple text and now if i have to apply the preset let's just simply search for glow and we have this glow outline 3d if i drag it onto this there you go here we have our effect and if i press play you can see all the animations are already applied so this is how you can create these kind of procedural effect and you can save them as a preset so that you can use them later on as well once again, the project files and the preset is available on my Patreon page. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.